Hello, hi, it's Liz here and recently on the Facebook groups I have been noticing people making uh, tickets and using them in various ways. Some people have been stamping, some people have been um, changing the ticket round, maybe adding some bits and bobs. So I thought I would get my ticket book out and have a wee look and I found these nice brightly coloured ones so I've got a little bundle of them. I keep my tickets, um, it works by and large. Um, I didn't use these that were already attached because I don't think they really look like tickets and I wanted them to look more tickety than pretty. Uh, like Much like these. Uh, see, they all kind of go to the side. Maybe I've got too many things in the little pockets. I put little vellum pockets on this old book that I picked up. It's just an old got the spare vellum bits there to add some more um, and yeah I just oopsie <laughs> uh, I just put strips of vellum at different uh, sizes just to kind of keep them but I think I'm going to have to change this I think there's too many in that but anyway that's for another day that's where I keep my I think I had more fun doing the cover and uh, altering the cover more than I had um, anything else with it and it looks nice and pretty on the shelf so anyway these tickets I want to join up as if they are on a roll so I thought what could I join them up with and I'm going to lay out some washi tape um, and yeah some washi tape probably need about that length and then I'm going to stitch them. But if you don't have a machine, you obviously can do it. Maybe just glue them a little bit more securely. Or maybe staple them together. Or like overlap them and glue them. You could do that. Um, yeah. But I'm just going to use the washi to keep them together until I can stitch up the length of the tickets. I'm going to make, I don't know if I said this already, um, a belly, I'm going to use them to be a belly band. Um, a belly band is something that you, it's a long thing that you put on your journal page and you tuck something in behind. Um, that's a belly band and people all know that have watched me for a number of months will know that I don't like the word belly. <laughs> Why it was ever called a belly band I don't know but we will give a wee zigzag stitch up there um, but I'm going to just set it because then that will be that done. We'll trim off the washi tape and that's all I'm going to do to the belly band but I want to tuck something in behind the belly band because that's really just quite so super easy. Um, yeah, I think we'll add a wee bit of decoration, a wee bit of something once I've stitched, but we'll we'll leave it not stitched for the moment because I want to do the stamping because I'm going to go to the machine as well for my journaling cards and I just want to reach over here. So these are two old Project Life cards um, that I'm going to use to stamp on today and they will tuck nicely behind the belly band once it's all finished and in my journal. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. Now, I have just popped through the door this morning these two new stamps. They are just, I think, really really different and gorgeous so it's creative expressions stamps by andy skinner i got them direct from creative expressions which is in the uk um i ordered them just night it was at night time now was it night time yesterday no night time yet the day before yesterday and they arrived this morning so super fast this one's called I'll Be Your Umbrella and you get the little sentiment with it as well. And this one's called 
nowhere to go but up. And I think there's maybe six or eight different ones. But I got the little boy and the little girl. Um, they're in various poses, boy and the girl in other poses as well. And you get a sentiment with each one. So if you fancy them, I thought they looked a wee bit Banksy. And that's why I kind of was drawn to them. There's a mural in Glasgow, which is kind of similar style to that. And, uh, and yeah, right. So let's stamp onto this one first. Let's stamp the girl onto this one. And I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black. You won't be surprised at that. And I've got a large stamping. I really need to wash that. <laughs> okay, so let's break it out. Brand new, hot off the press. Put the sentiment there. And we peel off this backing from the foam. that to put it back on. Now obviously they're not clear stamps and so you can't tell um, whether you know you're straight or whatever when you're stamping but what I do is I've got my uh, acrylic block and I like the ones with the, that I've got a grid on them. They don't all have grids but I like this for this very reason and I just like to line it up straight and then I can use something and I want the girl to be straight so I can line her up with line on the stamp so that I know that if that line there, that's the line I'm using there, it goes right past her body and I know if these vertical lines are straight against what I'm stamping on, then she should be straight. <laughs> Everything crossed. I will put plenty ink on. I want a nice bold and they're quite deeply edged so you don't get a lot of smudging but there's a little bit there and I'm just going to do that to take that off there. I don't want any little extra bits. Thank you very much. Right, so we want these vertical lines to be vertical and I want that drippy bit just to be kind of dripping down onto this card that's pre-patterned there, so let's just get everything straight and I know I could get out my stamping block, a uh, stamping, you know, the thing that flops over and all the nonsense, the stamping machine, it's not a machine, it's a, you know, the misty thing, mine isn't a misty. You know the thing I mean. I, I've never, I've never really liked it. I can't remember what make mine is. It's a proper make, but I can't remember what make it is. And it's not the the thing itself that I dislike. I don't know. There's just something. There's just something about it that. So that's us. Whoa! We'll just that was nearly on the floor. It's a wee bit higher than I wanted. I wanted the main bit to be, but then it maybe would have left, it wouldn't have been centered on the card properly, but we will go with that. And I'm not going to color it until I stamp my sentiment because I like to do all my stamping first in case there's a disaster. I don't want to spend time colouring and again we can line this up with something on 
Now what I'm going to line up with is the tall letters and make sure that they're just on that line there and then I know that that's straight. Now let's think don't think there's I think maybe what we'll do is we'll put that down there and that'll take away from the fact even if it's stamped over those lines I won't mind make sure we're the right way up we'll just put it now will we put it slightly to the side yeah let's go for it there Yeah, that's okay, it's touching it a little bit, but you can still see I'll be your umbrella. Okay, let's just carefully lift that off. Now, to colour, I have a little variety here of water-based pens and a little clean acrylic block. And let's see. This is the skin colour I'm going to use. It's a brush pen, Ecoline. Ecoline? Eco? Echo? <laughs> now, this isn't obviously, this isn't watercolour card. So you have to, and I don't think we need to do that. I think we can, this is pale enough that we can do it straight on. There. And we'll just give it a little highlight with a little bit of pink on one side because there is just touches of colour now I'm going to choose colour to pick out the teal I don't know if you can see the tiny teal flowers there and the tiny red flowers so I decide whether I'm going to make her dress either teal or red and whatever I decide on the dress the opposite on the umbrella so I think we will maybe give her a teal dress this time I'm going to add a little scoosh of water just so that it's just not quite as full on and we can go down the side a little bit add a little bit of a shade on one side so we're going to pretend now I know she's got an umbrella up so there won't be a sun but if it was sunny or if there was a light shining so say the light or the sun was on this side the right hand side and it was shining down then the shadow would be on the left side because that would be behind where the sun is shining and that's where you put your darker colour. Can you see it's slightly darker down the side there? So that's what we do there. Now she's got little socks on and we'll just give them a wee dot of blue. Just because she's a very coordinated young lady. So now that was Peacock Feathers and this is Fired Brick. So again, a squirt. Take the tail off the brush and add the red to the umbrella. And again, we're going to put the dark on the left side because the sun is hitting the umbrella on the right side and we'll just lift a wee bit up with our brush. There we are. So that's one card done and we will stamp this young lad and C 
same thing, I have already had a go at stamping him so that before I came on the video, just so that I knew that these were going to stamp out nicely. And of course they do. So, do we want the faux sellotape at the bottom or at the top? Now let's see. The umbrella. Yeah, maybe at the top there. Right. So I did the same again. I lined it up. To make it straight. This is the first time I've bought any of these this make um, from this designer. I'm going to move that down a bit this time. Maybe put the sentiment up the top just for a change. And I'm very impressed, I have to say. I think that's upside down. Nowhere. What does it say? Nowhere to go but up. That's good to go. I'm just loving how bold they are and I think to add these to the journal below the belly band will be now do we want it somewhere fancy no let's just go along the top Not sure I'm all that straight. Oh yeah. Lovely. Right, let's give this one a little bit of colour. So same again. A little bit of hands. And a little rosy cheek. Yeah. And a little bit of blue for his denim. Now I think we can probably not use any water because you're just filling in some some of the bits of space there because his trousers are more or less um you know black already. And I'm going to use this nice, uh, this is Spiced Marmalade. For his shirt and his balloon. So that it's matching, I quite fancy matching him up. Because he's got another colour. And he's, um, in his jeans. So again, we'll just add a little bit down the left hand side. The same with this. And it doesn't have to be perfect because these are a sort of mixed media style stamp. Now, I want this colour for his hair. Colour for his hair. Where did I put it? No, I must have put it away. Is it this? No, it wasn't that. Let's see. Tea dyes are green. 
that's two tea dice. Oh. Quarter eye, no. I don't know what happened to the Right, let's use let's use this beige. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Let's just pile all them up over there. Yay. So that's going to be my two journaling cards for behind my belly band. Let's just have a little tidy up. That's my water over there and that's my new stamps. Right, so the next stage would be to go to the sewing machine and stitch down my belly band and stitch around these. Now, if you don't have a machine, obviously a thin liner pen like this, I've got a letter set or a uni pin fine liner. And you'll have seen me doing that umpteen times where it's just a dotted line or a zigzag or a squiggle and um, it kind of frames it nicely. But today I want to go to the machine because I'm going to the machine with this anyway. And then we'll add a couple of wee bits, I think, to the belly band. Do a little free thing mini collage in the middle just to add a little bit of interest and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, that's me back from the machine and I have stitched, I'm just going to cut that bit off, round the, um, I know that it's slightly too long for my page so I'm just cutting a wee smidgen off the ends there um, and just tidy up, I do like to leave some thread because I think it just, I don't know, I just quite like it to be the ends to be thready. <laughs> right, yeah, so I did a double squiggly instead of just a nice straight. I'm not very good at a straight, especially when they've got curved um, corners. I quite like just to do a squiggle. Okay, so let's add a little bit of something to this. Yes. Um, now, I've got a little one of them. This is my dish of little things. A little label, maybe. Is that too big? Let's see what's in here. It's a tree. I want something plainish. Of course, I could always cut it down. And a number, why not? Right, that will do. Just to add a little bit 
Now, I have a second one here that I made, one I made earlier, and I don't want it in the same place, so I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to move it up a ticket, if you know what I mean, so that it's not parallel with that. Just want it over the edge a little bit. a little bit more there okay now I have so that's what we've made and I have my journal here and I am going to put the belly band on the page that we did with the envelope so that's what I did the other day with the altered envelope and stuck it on that page and I want the belly band bands <laughs> The double, because that's what I've decided to do, and I think they just might be, this one's just a smidgen too long. That's better. And this one, I think it's just a little bit too long as well. That'll do. Okay. And then these will be. So we need to attach. Do, do we want it? No. No. Let's do them side by side. And let me think what the best glue and I'm just going to maybe reach for some double sided tape I think. This is quite strong and they're only going to have those two cards behind them anyway. So hi to my new subscribers. Um, I know a few of you came over from Kathleen's blog, a eh, blog, a eh, channel. Kathleen, now I don't know if it's Moer or Mower, M O W E R. She kindly mentioned me in one of her videos, and it's amazing when you get a mention from someone how many subscribers, extra subscribers you get. And it's quite funny because you you look at your subscriber numbers and all of a sudden it can jump by, by you know, quite a way. Sometimes 30, 40 in, the mat in a matter of days, which is 
in the normal scheme of things, quite unusual. Um, and uh, and so then you start to think, right, somebody somewhere has recommended me or, you know, on a Facebook group or somebody somewhere has mentioned, left a link on Instagram or whatever. Um, or on indeed on another YouTuber. And so someone mentioned in the comments that she had come over from uh, Kathleen's um, channel. And so I got to the bottom and, and I was just about to watch uh, Kathleen's video. It's always quite funny when you watch a video and, not, and all of a sudden someone mentions you. Um, so I, I scooted over to watch because <laughs> uh, I, I am subscribed to Kathleen. In fact, I watched her video, her latest video, whilst I was prepping for this video. It's quite funny. Um, and she's talking about how she uses her journals and writes in her journals. And, um, and, and it's a lovely video because quite often people ask on the... Um, that's not quite straight. That's us ask on the groups oh you know your journals are lovely and 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 blah 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 but what do you do with them what um you know and uh, and she's explaining well this is what i do i nice i might like to tuck things in and nice pieces of ephemera and tickets and things and i like to write down thoughts and just like i have there with the visit recent visit to naked soup um and I'll just tuck a little bit of ephemera in. Uh, whoops. So, yeah, so if you haven't visited Kathleen, um, I can, she's lovely. Uh, go and pop a visit. So, yeah, so there we are. So I've got two nice with my brand new stamps. And they'll just live in there like that. And I'll maybe just let the little girl peek through. Now do we want the little girl to be? Because there's more of him to the side. She's more centred so you will not see her as much. Then you can see her if we do that. And it's just, a belly band is just nice to have something tucked in. What do you think? I think they're nice. Or you could use a paper clip if your belly band wasn't holding them. I think it's holding them because of the paper, the texture underneath is, isn't slidey. So that's us for today. Quite pleased with that. A little bright ticket belly band and some nice stamping and colouring. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave them out for now because I'll be taking my photograph for the... And then, now wait, how's that going to be? That's going to go in there like that. And then that will flip over like that. Oh, yeah. And so, nice surprise when you open that, you've got this. Lovely. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.